Yes, the UK Rum Fest is back with a range of distillers, brands and liquor lovers from all around the world. Here to take in some of the finest rums, a little conversation and a little dance, of course. Founded by the rum connoisseur himself, Mr. Ian Burrell. Yes, we're here at the UK Rum Fest 2021, and what a place this is, man. Everybody's drinking, smiling, having fun, drinking responsibly, of course. So let's go and find out what rums there are here and what is going on. The UK Rum Fest has always been a calendar event for rum enthusiasts since it began 15 years ago. So first up, I checked out the Appleton Rum Estate and their fine blend of rums. Today we've got the Appleton 8 year old 12, we've even got the Appleton 15, which is a brand new release in the UK, which we're showcasing. Again, like super versatile in terms of Appleton 8, works great as a sipping rum, great in a daiquiri, iconic in a Mai Tai, all the way to stirred down drinks. And then mate, Appleton 12, if you want something that's a little bit more of a sipping rum, a bit more complexity, wow. that kind of spice of the age. You've got the selections here, man, Absolutely. so guys, recommend it. Appleton rum, go get some. Now, knowing that I'll be sampling some of the finest rums on the planet, I think I need to pace myself. So a quick sit down at the Duffy share stand should be the trick. <laughs> With another rum, of course. So, Louis, so I asked you to get me what you recommend. I did. You got me the white, right? Exactly. So, what am I drinking? So, you're drinking a pretty special rum here. Uh, this rum has been in the making for about a year and a half. It was released about three weeks ago. It is really designed and produced by Kano. Uh, who has become a co-founder of the Duffy White brand. The rum is basically meant to represent uh, his notion and, and memories of Jamaica. Uh, so you've got uh, lots of uh, flavors and uh, tastes from his, his past and his own experience. Notably, Judy Mango, citrus, uh, uh, all sorts of pimento, a little bit of freshly cut grass. Um, so it's a really complex rum, taken down from what most white Jamaican rums are, 100% hot still, uh, which is sort of overproof, around 65%, to about 40% to make it a little bit more accessible, but you'll see it's still got a bit of a kick. Cool, cool, cool. I'll, I'll try it now. Cheers. 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 Nice. So this is the rum Kane used to drink when he was a, a little boy. Ah, uh, no. Not, <laughs> not quite like that. <laughs> so it, as well as the whites, You've got brown rums as well, right? That was, yeah, we do. Tell us about those. So the first rum we released is our aged rum, which is a golden uh, blend of Jamaica and Barbados. A three-year Jamaican rum from the Worthy Park Distillery and a five-year Bayesian rum from the uh, Four Square Distillery. Both delicious rums. Together, you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get a, a strong, fiery Jamaican shine, which cuts through cocktails, but you also get a smooth, buttery, oaky finish from the Barbados side that gives it a really nice, uh, smooth taste and easy to drink by itself, basically. Louis, thanks for the info, man. Love that, love Not that, at all. love that. And try the spiced as well if you fancy a little bit of pineapple in your life. It's very tasty. We will. Yeah. I tried the Merza rum. It's like, this is my third rum of the day now. It's so smooth, it just, it just works. I feel we're gonna have more of these. Amazing, amazing, amazing. The treats are here. There's plenty more rum to go through. Let's so check out some more. This is obviously our Halo rum. This one is a combination of three, five, and eight years from Four Square Distillery. So again, true to Barbados, it is very much gold in a cup. Um, you're gonna find flavors of apricot, so pitted fruit, sometimes you'll catch a bit of banana, coconut, coconut husk, and vanilla. So it's wonderfully blended. Again, no added sugars, so it's very much guilt-free. Fantastic for sipping and versatile for cocktails as well. We also have our spice. This is a combination of five-year Trinidadian rum, three-year Barbados, which will be the same one that we're using here, two years of Dominican Republic, and two years of Jamaica. What country makes the best rum in your eyes? Oh, don't do that. That's a, that's a trick question. Um, how? And the reason I say that is because every island, every country has a reason for why they create their rums the way they do it. I just had an amazing Neptune rum. It has so many flavours in it. It was spicy, it was fruity, it was smooth. I definitely recommend it. I don't know how many rums I'm going to go through, but I'm going to try and go through as much as I can so you lovely guys can understand what is going on. Let's go check out some more. So this is the uh, Cuban secret rum. Uh, so this has been around for uh, decades and decades in the south of Cuba. 
So it's much more of a wild climate down there. So you've got the, the saltiness from the sea and you know the air is this is magical sort of uh, pollination in it as well. So the rums are a lot drier yep. and they're um, designed to be you know enjoyed however you enjoy it as, as all rum should be. Cool. This one here is with the Santiago de Cuba eight-year-old. This is using the eight-year-old with some uh, natural honey, some salt, some fresh lime and soda. So it's so like, have a, little, have a little try. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers, man, cheers. That's good. So it's like, a, you know, it's nice and soft and light, yeah. and refreshing. Imagine the sun, yeah. the waves That's crashing off now. the sea. Have a little sleep. Oh, amazing, amazing. Love yeah, man. This. Love it. It's like an alcoholic banter. Okay, so this is the Chairman's Reserve Corner. Um, where's this brewed? Where's, where's, where's this distilled? Where, where's this from? So the Chairman's Reserve is from St. Lucia. Thank you. Cheers. I feel very good. <laughs> okay, so where's this rum from? So we have rum from all over the world. So we have some unaged rums from Haiti. We've got Hampton Grape House from Jamaica. We've got a variety, a colourful palette of rum. Cheers. Cheers. What brings you here today? We came primarily for the Beijing run, because we know that. So, Otis, when you're not putting gadgets together and we're the gadget show, you're drinking rum, right? I'm drinking dark spirits, period. Um, I'm here because of my growing love uh, and respect for rum and the people that make rum, the distillers, uh, the master blenders. When I'm not looking at gadgets, I'm enjoying a wee dram of whiskey or a little top of rum and I'm talking about it with my boys and we're trying to just spread the word that if you're going to spend your money on some liquor, yeah. yeah. Make sure it's considered. Yeah. Don't just go and pick something that all the all the people are drinking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Pay yeah. attention to what your tongue and your palate says. Pay That's attention right. to what your nose is saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? And try a little something different. So how do you like your rum? I'm probably entry level right now. Do you know what I mean? So Barbados is my favourite. Is my favourite region. Um, I don't like them too funky, but I, I like a li I like a little bit of I like a little bit of funk. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah. But the Mount Gay I like. The, uh, I like some of these South American rums as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I'm all about just trying to try and sample yeah. as many yeah, as try possible. As much yeah. yeah. Cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Otis, pleasure to meet you, man. My pleasure. Enjoy my the day. Enjoy Thank the you day. Very much. Thank you. Cool. So I'm here with the wonderful Ali, and Ali's got the Seven Fathoms rum. So where's Seven, seven Fathoms rum from, Ali? So the Seven Fathoms rum is from the Grand Cayman Islands. It's the only one distilled in the Grand Cayman Islands. And it's very unique. We've got um, a unique um, way to mature it. It matures Seven Fathoms deep on the ocean floor bed. Hence the name. Absolutely. You're my man. <laughs> Whether you've come to buy or just sample the rum, you won't be disappointed, as there's so many different rums to choose from. Whether the brown, white or spice is your thing, this is definitely the place to be. What brings you to the rum fest, guys? Um, I come every year. It's spiced rum, right? Yes. Where's it from? Uh, so, we are based in Dorset. And um, that's where that's where we spent lockdown basically working on this. So it's a um, new thing. It is new. We launched March this year. So you're giving it a big talk. Let's try it. Yes, Let's sure. try it. You're gonna have one too, right? I am gonna have one too. Nice. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. That is amazing. I've never heard of Honey Bell. Yep. Let me know about it. So it's a brand that I launched this year on the first of June. It's your brand. It's yeah, your brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The biggest 
It's your oh, fuck, no. Jay! <laughs> yes. So now we're here at the Mount Gay stand. And Mount Gay is a drink that's very special to my heart. Being a Bayesian, I love my Mount Gay. So, for those who don't know, let them know about Mount Gay, man. Right, so I'm Miguel Smith. I'm brand ambassador for Mount Gay Rum. Super happy to be here, finally to be mixing with some people. Um, uh, carefully and, and respectfully yeah, and yeah, COVID yeah, uh, safe yeah. as well. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> um, at Mount Gay, we are, you know, in case people didn't know, we are the home of rum. Rum came from Barbados, originating at Mount Gay since 1703. So what makes Mount Gay so special? What makes it different from all the other rums? Well, for sure, as I said, we are the first, yeah. you know, the originators. There's a real story of tradition of the way how we produce rum. Um, I think, dare I say it, it's a great introduction to the category as well. If you've never had a rum in your life, Barbados rum and of course Mount Gay is a really good way to introduce people into the category. Yeah. Wherever, you know, whether it's a gin, a, a vodka drinker, a, a whiskey drinker, bourbon drinkers and cognac drinkers, yeah. they understand us. Yeah. Very similar in taste and body. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, as a, as a category, what Mount Gay gives is an authenticity. Nice. So I think if I was to say what makes us unique is we've been making our rum pretty much in the same way for centuries. All the time. So yeah. it's all about authenticity for yeah. us. The yeah. Mamra rum. Mate, I love the flavor that the XO brings. Yeah. It's such a unique flavor. And, it, and you can taste the difference, literally, in the XO from the other Mount Gay um, rum. No, XO. definitely. I think Mount Gay XO is an icon. Um, specifically here in the UK, we first would have come here in 1990, the early 90s, 1992. And it has progressed to become what it is today, which is, you know, a rum that is the benchmark of XOs, dare yeah. I say it. Yeah. How you doing, sir? Doing good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thanks for inviting me, man. Oh, no, thanks for coming down. It's all good. It's all good. How could I miss a celebration of rum? I could miss it, even though it didn't happen last year. Yeah. Well, we had a we had a like a, a smaller version last year inside a bar in the West End, just so we can get that continuity going. So we did like some seminars, master classes, and we had people um, dial in from other countries. But so we had to get a, we had a smaller version, but not like this. Not yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good that it's back. It's good that it's booming. I've been speaking to. Lots of enthusiastic people, people who love their rum, people who want to taste out the rum, people who want an experience. Yeah. How comes people keep on coming back, man? Uh, because rum is rum is a culture. Rum is not a not only a spirit, it's a way of life. And people want want to recreate that or they want to learn about that or they've actually seen or embraced it through other people. So and plus there's always new rums on the market. There's different rums on the market that people want to taste and try, sample, learn how to use them. So that's why they come back. We try to create an energy, a great vibe. We have a lot of um, rum family, as we like to call them, that come back every year. And yeah. It's like a family. They always want to come back and see you every yeah. year. So yeah. that's what it's about. Yeah, yeah. So last time I spoke to you, I asked you what was your favorite rum. Yeah. And you, I can't remember what you said. But, um, I said it was uh, the one in my glass, the next one. That's it. And a free one. <laughs> yeah. Is that still the same? Yeah, man. Say it's still the same. Cool, cool. Oh, there's one more. The one you're buying me. Oh, yes. I forgot about that. And, and how do you like it? Uh, neat most of the times. A couple of keys of ice or in a cocktail. Um, it depends on the actual style of rum. There's so many great ways of drinking rum. And with all your travels around the world, what country or island has given you the best experience? Wow, that's tough because I go to so many places, whether I'm in Jamaica, Barbados, or Cuba, Martinique, Guadeloupe, uh, Madeira, uh, Mauritius. You're showing uh, off now. Just tell us one place. I can't give you one place because they're all good. Oh, they're all good. They're all good. They're all good. So you're going to sit on the fence and say they're all good? I'm not sitting on the fence. It's the truth. They're all good. <laughs> the one in my glass. Ian, thank you, man. Respect, man. Thank you, man. Great, great job back. you guys did. I can't believe the wonderful time I've had at the UK Rum Fest 2021. It's been amazing. From all the different rums that I've been tasting, all the people I've met, the music, the vibe. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, all the rum makers. And thank you, everybody that came down. I'll see you next year. But until then, I think it's time for me to get some more rum.